Welcome once again. We said earlier that the sectional approach would cater to both short and long texts. This approach enables learners to acquire transcoding skills. We will show you how this is done in a full-blown lesson. But before that, let me take you to the classroom where you will see the teacher conducting a pre-listening activity. Class, look at this web. Is it the same as the one you have on your paper? Yes, yes ma'am. How do we call this figure? Yes, Philip. This figure is called a web, ma'am. Good. It is called a web. Now, Judith, what insect makes or spins a web? Um, the insect that makes or spins a web is a spider, ma'am. That's right. A spider indeed makes or spins a web. Do you know, class, that we too can make our own webs? However, it's not the kind of web like the gauzy thread kind. It's more of a web of words. Yes, Padre, you were raising your hand. I was just wondering, ma'am, what kind of web is a web of words and how can you make one? The answer is by doing it yourself. So, Pedro, come over and kindly post this on the circle here on this figure. And class, please write down the word that Pedro is posting on the board right now. Has everybody finished writing down the word earth in the, in the circle? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Pedro. You may now sit down. Class, what you are to do this time is to write down as many words as possible describing the earth here on the lines of the web. Like, for instance, yes, yes, Fanny. Any words, ma'am? Yes, you can write down as many words as you can that you can associate with the planet Earth. Like, for instance, the word planet or perhaps the word blue. Okay? After you have written down as many words as possible, find your own partner and then share with your partner your list. And then explain to him or to her why you wrote down the words that you did. And then tell him why you wrote down words that cannot be found in his or her list. Okay? Alright? Let's all begin. This episode is getting exciting, isn't it? What did we see in the first part of the lesson? You're correct. That was the pre-listening activity. This activity usually has the following purposes. First, to activate the schema or background knowledge of students about the new lesson. Second, to set the right atmosphere or the right mood. Please refer to your Teaching Support Manual or TSM for other samples of pre-listening activities. Let's see how the teacher continues with the lesson. But before that, let's pause for a short break. Please don't go away.